everybody. Hi, it's Becky from Power Tools with Thread. I've got my Winnebago shirt on that was given to me by a viewer. Thank you so much, Keith, and I love them. We are traveling uh, through Colorado Springs. We leave in the morning and we're heading on up to Kimberbell. But this really, really awesome lady, Christine, she owns a quilt fabric company called Jelly Rolls To Go. I was here yesterday and visited with her for just a little bit and she was so sweet to give me a tour. This is actually her home and she runs a business out of her home. She and her husband, Brian, this is Christine. And you, you know, I was thinking last night about the story that you had told me and uh, what all had happened and whatnot in your life. And the word that came to me when I thought about her was perseverance. I think sometimes life throws us curveballs, and how we handle it is a true testament to our character. And uh, you told me, so Christine lost her home, her everything. It, what was the name of the, the Waldo Canyon fire? The Waldo Canyon fire in Colorado Springs right. in 2012, right. everything. You said you had no notice. Right. No. Get out. Right. And and you had to you you couldn't get anything. You just had to go and leave. Right. And her home burned to the ground. Everything. Mm -hmm. All the fabric, mm -hmm. all the notions, all the supplies, all the right. books, all of your furniture, all of your clothing. Everything. everything. She lost everything in this fire. And then you started the rebuilding process, right? Right. And this was with uh, your, your husband has passed away now. Right. But uh, this was with your husband, Bill. Bill. And you guys started the rebuilding process. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Right. And how long did that take? It took about a year. It was close to a year before we moved back in. And he, um, my son said, Mom, you really should start your business again. And it was my love for fabrics and Moda's support as well. Uh, they were very, very kind. And um, my love to create, um, I just wanted to do it again. Yeah, and you guys will I, see that in the rest of this video, the creation. You moved back into your house and a week later, what happened? My husband came down with cancer that was very fast paced. So Aww. he went into the hospital and two weeks later he died. Uh, we just had one set of shelves up. Um, I have two boys and they kept me going. They were wonderful. Um, I think creating and getting back into fabric is what kept my mind going, interest and in, in just right and, and people you know i was surrounded by wonderful people and uh well god bless you i mean so can many. you imagine you lose your home it burns to the ground you go you all know most of you know what it is like to build a home incredibly stressful to build a home anyway mm -hmm. and then you move in in two weeks within a month mm -hmm. he was gone her husband was gone but then you had to keep going and right. tell me this story so most of what she has here is Moda fabric. Most of what, and she has a lot of the older stuff too. So if any of you are looking for older collections of Moda, take a look either at her website, jellyrollstogo.com or Jelly Rolls To Go on Etsy, right. right? Take a look at there and see, maybe she might be able to have the fabric that you might be looking for if you're looking for something that you can't find in a store or somewhere else. So you uh, you had gone down to, Moda is in Dallas, right? Correct. So yeah. you had gone down there and right. what happened? Um, well, we went down there because we wanted to start our supply and uh, Lisa Alexander came over to me and she said, um, Mr. Dunn wants to talk to you. And who is Mr. Dunn? Uh, he is the head of Moda. Okay. Uh, uh, the head of the company. Um, and he had us into his office and he was sitting there behind his big desk and, and the two of us sat down and he said, well, tell me about the fire. So we told him what it was like, the, the events leading up and um, uh, something interesting too, they would not allow us back here into um, the area for two weeks. They okay. had the whole area 
sealed off. And So where did you stay for two weeks? Uh, we just stayed at a hotel and then um, we realized it was going to be quite a while and after two weeks when we were allowed to come back to the site, um, there were first aid was going around to see if they could help people out and and then the fire trucks were going around and we found after two weeks we found that there were still two spots where it was burning hot here spots. on this lot. Wow. It was sizzling and crackling and um, the firemen came over and they said you know, we just want to know something. Please tell us what you had in your house. <laughs> I said, I said what, what do you mean what we had in our house? And they said, because we came back to your house eight times, eight times to put your fire out. Wow. And it wouldn't go out. It was all the fabric, mm -hmm. wasn't it? It was all the fabric. It was all the and fabric. Said, Can well, you guys imagine all the fabric? My goodness, that's crazy. <laughs> so what did but, Mr. Dunn say to you? But he was very nice. He wanted to hear the whole story. And, and we sat there and we told him and he said, well, he says, I want you guys to have this. And he pushed this envelope toward us. And, and I'm thinking, wow, you know, what's he doing? And I opened up the envelope and there he, he gave us $4,000 worth of credit. Oh my goodness. To, get, to help get reestablished. To get your, oh, yeah. so you could get your inventory back right. and get things. Oh, that and is that's wonderful. that's what I have on the wall there. It, right. it stays on that wall. I've laminated that. Yes. That invoice showing the credit. That, and, that and, is, and that is a testament to Moda. Moda really cares not only it's not just about sales with them they want their distributors oh, yeah. to to prosper um that's just and a I've, heartwarming story. i've got goosebumps about that. that's a really really I've nice always story felt that way about moda which is why i've always leaned toward moda anyway before right. the fire right and um that just you know that just seals everything sure so, of course yeah. okay so thank you um so this is what i'm about to show you i'm gonna uh, this is the video that we took yesterday and i will take you all around her area down here again if you are looking for motive fabrics maybe some that you think are out of print i bet you she might have a little bit of it left uh all of christine's contact information is below in the description box and if you need anything at all please um, don't hesitate to call or to check out the they website call. don't they can call they can okay call, yeah. uh, call check out the website and check out on Etsy okay mm -hmm. so I hope you enjoy the rest of this video tell so, me about this right here so this is before the fire of 2012 that was the, what and was the name of that the fire a, um, Waldo Canyon fire okay and um, the Gazette Telegraph heard about Jelly Rolls to go and so they wanted to come here and do a, a newspaper article and they came down here and this is my younger son who's in Pennsylvania and this is my first husband and that's me. After the fire my neighbor said you know I kept that newspaper so would you like to make a copy of it because I didn't have I didn't wasn't able to save anything I'm everything went in fact how um, nice that they kept that for <laughs> they you they kept and she said would you like to have it or make a copy of it and i said oh that would be great that is wonderful in fact i even it was my younger son jeremy who said um i didn't even want to rebuild the business because i had lost everything and he said mom he said i'll help you and so he said yeah and my husband took me out to some quilt shops and that kind of got me going again <laughs> i did i i rebuilt it and um these are some of the things that have been real popular. Like I told you, I I love to take fabric now and and create a quilt and then kit it so people can see what it looks like mm -hmm. and then buy the kit if they want it. And these have been some of my more popular ones. This one's all sold out. It's um, Winterberry by Moda. I ragged that. I would sell the squares pre-fringed. Oh, okay. The whole set. All Neat. they had to do was sew them together. How and Great. this is uh, Summer Breeze, and, and I sold my original. This is I think same. I made this quilt. I made Summer Breeze. I remember yeah. that pattern from Moda. It's yeah. beautiful. It is. And this is the same pattern, but it's with that fabric I have so much of where I showed you that tote bag back there. 
And so I'm just getting so many quilts. I mean, I love to put them together. I like to try out different designs. I with my love arm. the lace and, you've um, done on this. And and so I'm experimenting with lace too. And that I is wanna, gorgeous. I cut it up. I piece it. Some things have embroidery on them. Oh, that is. And this just is like beautiful. a Delph uh, blue. Yes, that is well, so pretty. I think I have some of that blue fabric. The I floral. Did, uh, I I used to like Nancy Drew when I was small. I used to have all her books. And this is a Nancy Drew quilt here that I did. How neat. Do they still make that fabric? Uh, no, they don't. No, I didn't I, think I so. I have a little of it left. I had I, all of Nancy Drew's books, too. <laughs> and I, this is what got me into the scan and cut, too. I cut all this out by hand and put it on the back, and I have a scan and cut now, and I want to start using That's that. That's great. And the pencils but, is the perfect quilt pattern for yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> but I, um, you know, the, so the quilts that I make, I'm, I keep some. I put I put them up for sale on Etsy. Like this has a, you probably remember this one. It's a recent one. And I put hummingbirds on the back of it. It's beautiful. Um, but I have my quilts on Etsy because it seems like... Um, you know, on, on Jelly Rolls to Go website, everybody assumes all you sell is Jelly Rolls. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so I put quilts up for sale on Etsy. And um, What's your Etsy shop name? Uh, Jelly Rolls to Go on Etsy is what it's called. Okay. So I have, all, I have them all piled up here. I even have underneath all this, um, I have uh, leather that I want to get into uh, doing things with leather and, and doing bags and... Um, like you, you can see, I have a lot of Moda kits around the corner there, and Moda kits here. Um, this is what I cut, do a lot of pre-cutting, you know, the rag quilt that I showed you. Uh, I run the fabric here with the um, AccuCut and wow. uh, pre-fringe it for people. Um, so that's how you do that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, more pre-cuts on this back wall. Oh, I did want to show you, and this was kind of for you here, because <laughs> you were talking about thread. Becky, we have um, water type heat. Uh, the water pipes run through the floor. Okay. And so this is the utility room that has all the... Um, the copper tubing, yeah. yeah. So I, design, I I really have space problems, so I try to get <laughs> you have as such much a out of house. my space as I can. Wow, look at this. And, and I, put, I put these up put the numbers on and you know I want to when I'm embroidering I want to pull it down right fast I don't right. want to be looking through a big tub of threads. sure sure so this is what I've done with I my love thread. this and did and Brian make all the wood shelves for you you did that good for you <laughs> so this is taking advantage of space ordinarily with a door here right you know you couldn't use it yeah but yeah so I, it's, it's wonderful it designs use. yeah and this is an old Atler, but I, I want to maybe do something with leather, tooling. My son wants to get into tooling. Sure. All the pre-cuts are down here. And like I said, we have probably pretty close to 250 different collections. Oh. Uh, not jelly rolls, but collections. So you... And they're in alphabetical order so I can find them fast. Before the fire, what was your inventory like? We had about three million in inventory. Wow. Okay. Um, a ridiculous amount. This is another one. Brian said, you know, it was getting so heavy with quilts. He said, go hang them up all over the house. So I started hanging some of the quilts. This is also listed um, on Etsy. Um, so is Etsy, but, Etsy is where you sell your quilts and right. then jellyrollstogo.com is where you sell all your fabric. Right. And the pre-cuts. And, and you stuff. sell pre-cuts and you sell yardage? Right. Or do you only use this yardage to create pre-cuts or both? Um, both. Okay. Um, I sell yardage, uh, like this is all this new line that came in from Moda. I sell it, um, but I also then keep some for me for quotes I want to sure. make. And so your so. predominant line it is Moda, right. is, is your predominant line. Right. So if somebody's looking for a Moda fabric, Odds are you might have some of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Especially older groups um, because I tend to buy a, a lot of it. So. Okay. Um, That's wonderful to know. And see, this is a quilt that I made, and it, and it's over there on that stack of quilts. But um, I will quilt. I I kit it for people. Okay. Um, and uh, and I, 
you know, when it gets low, I refill. I and do are my your, cutting here. Are your kits on the Etsy shop or the? Both. Uh, they're on both. They're okay. on both. Yeah. Okay. And um, and there's kitty corn kit and layer cakes and and more rolls up there and um, this is the one you saw upstairs that I'm working on. Yes, that's on your. Um, that's beautiful. And this one's hanging on the wall there in the hallway. I save all my scraps, don't throw anything out. I was going through here the other day trying to put together fabrics that I liked. And that's when I came up with this quilt up here. Uh, this was all scraps out of that, that bin. Wow, it's gorgeous. And, um, and uh, basically I just, I hang some of them up back here. This is the one kit that I showed you where I have a lot of rolls stacked up. Um, this is that kit. That's lovely. And um, I just love, uh, you know, quilting to working out different designs and um, this is one I just finished and it's all Moda fabric. That that particular fabric because I have a lot of it, right? That is so too then funny. I try to come up with kits of things that look pretty. This is the sunshine sole um, that Moda has right now that I just did, and I like this pattern. It is that lovely. They came out with, and I thought, oh, I want to try that. It's beautiful. Put that on the back. Gorgeous. But I have flannels over there, more and, kits, and you machine bind like I do. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Definitely. I'm not going to sit there and no. hand. You wouldn't believe. I hear you say saying things like that on your video, and I go, right, Becky, you are exactly right. That's right. I'm not doing that. <laughs> and I love that it gives people permission to be okay with yeah. that. Yeah. You know, if you want to you know, sit there and stitch at night in front of the TV, knock yourself out. And you know, some people will say, well, no, this has to be hand stitched. And they'll spend years and years hand stitching it, Becky. Yeah. And you know what? And in the meantime, I look at all know. the gorgeous fabric you're letting go by in your life. Right. And <laughs> and the, the new techniques you might want to learn or this new something that came out or a new pattern that might be fun to try or colors to put together. You know... There's so much to do with fabric and quilting and embroidery. So much fun. Oh, I love have. the mat. Oh, there's the panel for the sunflowers. Yeah. yeah. I was just on Etsy this morning and this one just sold. That's beautiful. And that's the panel. Yes. Yeah, I have that. I haven't uh, and, I haven't finished it yet. I need to get it on the long arm. And, and I did it with uh, the uh, sunflower design on the back. It's gorgeous. I like books. I mean, I love the computer and I have all my designs on the computer, but I'll sit there in the evening, you know, and flip through designs and think of stuff in my head. And I like to be able to go back to this design and compare it to this design. Uh -huh. So I like my stuff on paper. A true creative. Books. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you've made really good use of your lights. I like that magnet with how you've done that with the scissors and all that. That's a great storage idea. Where is that? I'm looking oh, at oh, this oh, right oh. here. Oh, okay. Right here, that's fabulous. Yeah, you can get these at Home Depot and I have them up all over the place. Yeah. And uh, we were talking about space. Right. Uh, see underneath my long arm on both sides, I've got fabric. But I do like your uh, storage ideas here. I think that's fabulous. And I even, um, yeah. I have my table here with the uh, scan and cut that I want to learn how to use and I have fabric stored underneath here too. Hold on a second. Look at all those kits. Okay. This I get a lot of requests for scan and cut video. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, SDX. That's the one I have, the 225. Yep. Did I make you buy that? Actually, I won that. Did you? <laughs> yeah, I won that at um, Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vac. Good for you. I did get this through your, what your is that? channel, the Embrilliance. Oh, I okay. The manual, and that's wonderful. Isn't it great? That's really wonderful. Yeah, Embrilliance is absolutely. And the thumbnail, I got that. The thumbnailer, yeah. yes. It is the most program for the best money spent and it is it's so easy. Wonderful. Yes. It is really wonderful. I just love this quilt. 
Oh, thank you. That's I, embroidery and yes, patchwork. Um, it is gorgeous. So and pretty. that's Anita, good design. I have a lot is of it? her stuff upstairs. Yeah, I'll have to show I'm, I'm going to have to make there, that. I you. love it. Oh, look at this Isn't owl. Isn't that pretty? Yes, and you used metallics in it too, and it's just fabulous. Where I do all my work, I load all the inventory onto Jelly Rolls to go, do all my ordering, do my shipping here, print out my labels. Um, here's all my shipping supplies. I ship, put it here, and then uh, Brian will take the bags full and either go to the uh, post office or take them out to our um, pickup. Oh, wonderful. So, um, yep. There's your packing station. Yeah. <laughs> This is just another idea. Look how she just took a panel and just made a beautiful quilt from it. So nice. I love it. So inspirational, even though it's a shop. I mean, it's just so inspirational. You know, it's quilting and and fabric crafting it's it's like painting i think it's everything you can just sit there and do what you feel like doing what comes what you're in the mood for there's no really right or wrongs right i just think the beautiful art that comes out of it so this is um our guest room and um, um this was one of the first quilt tops that i made here and this is where I'm storing some of the queen and king size finish quilts and more fabric. Um, and here's all my interfacings and stabilizers and I have more in the other room there. And I'm storing all my felt here. Um, and then, I don't know if I should open this. <laughs> is it gonna explode? <laughs> <laughs> more quilts and more fabric. Oh my word. Goodness sakes, look at this all the way up as far as the eye can see. <laughs> yeah. That's a beautiful uh, granny square quilt oh, right there. Thank That's you. so pretty. Thanks. And then uh, up here I have uh, my two Berninas. And uh, this is where I do my embroidery work. Uh, Brian put all this together for me. The, the pegboard here. I've got more of the more frequent stabilizers that I use against here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, kit, kits there that I want to make. I'm usually into like so many projects all at the same time. If one stumps me, I stop on it and move on another one. Yeah, you become uh, a, a creative people are like that. Yeah. Until they uh, can chew on it a little while and come yeah. up with a solution and then they'll go back to it. Or and I'll, most of the time it comes in the middle of the night. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a quilt top and I'm thinking about what kind of pattern I want to put on it. And I'll, and when I'm tired in the evening, I might look through books while he's watching TV. I'll sit there and, and go through them and then um, think on it. And I could be doing something else and all of a sudden I'll decide what pattern I like on a quilt. But I do cutting up here too. Oh, these um, are pretty. Is this... Uh, Edita sitar? Yes. Yes. Yeah, laundry basket quilts. Gorgeous. And those are stuff. that's all, you know, applique. Right, right. And I've got uh, I've got m most of her blocks finished here. I've uh, got them here. And uh, I need to do the border yet for that. So and is this and all your personal stuff? Yeah. Okay. You don't yeah, sell this. This is your this is your In stash. Fact, I was gonna show you, you know, I think the thing with embroiderers uh, and women is, oh, I told you I don't like, I mean, I everything's gotta be on the computer, but um, I like to sit there and look at it. Or if I'm trying to decide what's best, I need to be able to go back and forth and look through You're a, a hands-on right. kind of, right. Yeah. So I have everything printed out. So everything that is here, I have printed out on books. Oh wow! And um, I'll 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 print out the cover. You know okay. the cover, and sure. then and then I'll I'll print out the PDF. Um, and that way you can really sit down. You can go back and forth and decide what you wanna, you know, embroider. 
Um, and wow. then if I, and then when I decide what I want, I'll always put down what stick. So these all designs are. Yeah, all, move your hand. I, all designs in book on Anita number four. Look and, at that. And then I have, I have all my sticks here. That's great storage. Numbered. Look at that. Because I can't, you know, and, and I keep wondering about what other women are doing. You know, how are you going to be able to... If how do you know to, what's on them? Or even what you have. I mean, Right, because you, you forget what you have. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So I have my stuff in books, and I can sit down and just flip between. Talk to me about how you, how you made this book. So... Uh, I just printed it out on my... Um, but this where, is a PDF that comes with the... Uh, oh, it comes with the CD or whatever. Right. And you... you because, did you send it to somewhere to have it printed? No, I printed it out on my computer. Oh, my. Um, and Do you go through some thing. ink? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the cover, you've laminated the cover. Yeah. And you have a machine that does the spiral bound? Right. Okay. Or you can, um, you know... You can go... You can go to like uh, Office some Depot. of those, right? And for two dollars or something, they'll bind it for you. Mm -hmm. um, and what I do is the fr the cover is always laminated, and that way I can flip through really quickly. I go to the next laminated page. Uh -huh. Your your thumb finds the laminated pages real fast. Right. That way you can flip through it fast, like. Like, if you're looking at this, no, I don't want this. It's really easy to go like this, and oh. right away you come to the next laminated page. Right. It's very organized. It's easy to find your designs. And, you know, if you just had your stuff on a disc, and, you're, and now you're thinking, okay, I've decided I'm going to embroider this. What do you have to do? You, you need to see the stitch out, mm -hmm. uh, the colors maybe, or the, the thread changes. So then you have to go down, take it to your computer, print it all out. Well, this way you've already got it all printed. How long does that take you to make a book like that? Not that long. A day? It, yeah. Or if two? It, no, no, no. <laughs> um, no, I, I put together... But that's um, amazing. And then you put labels with white on the side of the black. Right. W white ink it, labels on the side of the black binders. Yeah. I did this entire shelf in... Um, when I wasn't working, so not all day, just during my spare time in four days. Okay. You just have to take your your discs, go down there and say, okay, I'm printing, the, pull up the PDF, print it out. Right. Um, then so if somebody one. wanted to do this and they didn't have the ability to do that, though, they could take this CD to, say, a UPS store or Office Depot or Office Max. Mm -hmm. And they will print it for them and bind right. it and everything for a price, of course. Right. It wouldn't be very much, I don't think. Right. Um, to That's do wonderful. Copies like that is isn't expensive, so um, it really makes it easy. You can just sit there, flip through your designs, flip through collections, and then you can just go and, and there, there are the colors right. that you need. Right, right. away, you know, is it going to be stitch intensive? Am I going to need a lot of colors? It's all there for you. If you decide you want to do it, you just look, okay, this is on my USB stick number, whatever, five. That's great. And it's, I know. love that. <laughs> so organized. That's wonderful. Because I knew uh, myself, just knowing how I am, just having all this stuff on a shelf like that, there's no way. Right. That, um, I, I find I, that I, I'll go, well, I, I'm sure... No, that's not true. My first inclination is to go back out online, find it online, and buy it again when I bet you I already have it. That's, yeah. Yeah. And so do you spend more money doing that than you do printing out a book? Every time I, and I started this at the beginning, every time I bought a collection, I put it on my Google uh, you, um, Drive. Your Google Drive, Google right. Google Drive. And I have three folders. Um couple folders for the ones I buy more of and everything you know is put in alphabetical order uh -huh. so if I'm in a store I can just open up my phone and it's like do I have that one and oh that's great what yeah. a great idea because I did buy doubles <laughs> sure <laughs> I give away I doubles <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is awesome this is a great room for and you're so organized for the embroidery it's wonderful yeah yeah I knew if I wasn't I wouldn't be using my designs so. right 
That's great. So all of your embroidery machines are Bernina's. Fabric and bins. Yes. <laughs> so many. Oh, and look at this. This is great. Look at this needle. Uh, now, where did you get that? How, um, or did you make it? No. Well, you my can pad buy, for needles. You know, I think machine most, needle organizers. That's great. I think this is available from most sewing stores. Um, but it it's flat like this. And right. what I did was, because you're supposed to stick your needle through there, right? When you change right. sizes and stuff. Right. Okay, so how far can you stick it being that it's only, you know, a quarter of an inch or so? Yeah. So what I did was I put, I glued it to a piece of styrofoam. How smart is that? So you can just stick it through there. I right? want one. I'm going to have to get one of those. I love it. And of course, I put mine on the wall because yeah. I have enough stuff laying on the tabletop. Right. Um... I just love this. So organized. You know, for an organization freak like myself. And Becky, I saw your project board, so I had to go make one. <laughs> <laughs> I was at somebody's house the other day, and she... Um, and you know what I did? Sorry. I, I made my own alphabeties on my embroidery yes, machine. Yes, smart. That's and, great. And when if you do them on felt, they tend to kind of stick. Right. No, but that's great. Yeah, that's just a sh that's just a couple pieces of what uh, poster board or is it yeah, one poster board and felt? That's perfect. That's perfect. Yep. And if I had been thinking before I glued this on there, I would have embroidered my name up there on the felt. Right. But that thought came afterwards. So yeah, that, that happens. <laughs> And you're selling this kit right yeah. now? Yeah. Okay. It's twenty nine dollars on Etsy. It's beautiful. Um, What's the name of it? If uh, you Rose, think of, I think I called it Rose Patch. Okay. Yeah. So they can know what to look for. Yeah. That's gorgeous. And so I'll be quilting that up soon. So she's carrying the full line of kitty corn. I had to kind of control myself because what I wanted to tell you is I have a summer breeze coming in September and I got the entire collection. I don't know if it's 40 or 50 bolts. Oh and my goodness. Tell me where am I going to put them? <laughs> so, <laughs> so let me I, see all your kitty corn collection that you have. Okay. I bought, I think this panel's so cute with that uh, cat. Yeah. It kind then, of, it's kind of 1940s, 50s right. type. Yes. So I think it'd be so cute to use the smaller cats for something, make make some matching items right. here, you know, maybe a little quilt and then something to go with it. Um, and anyway, I got this and this, I thought this be a great. Oh, I um, love that go, fabric. This that's is gorgeous. Nice. Yes, that's very nice. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to see what I can come up with for this. That's a, yeah. That uh, plaid is a nice border print. Yeah. Yeah. I just love that little spider coming down off the moon. That's so cute. It is an adorable, adorable fabric. Yes. And you just put this out on your Etsy shop? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Brand new. That's wonderful. So if anybody is looking for kitty corn and you can't find it somewhere, or you're no, looking for a it. certain piece of it, go to Jelly Rolls to Go on Etsy. Right. Dot com. Right. Or, right Jelly right. Rolls to Go on Etsy. On okay. Etsy, yeah. And if I come out with some creative things to do with it, I'll put that out there too for That's everybody. That's great, yeah. So, and I like to in my listings, um, for instance, if, I, if I'm if i showing you this fabric on a listing, if you would click on it, I'll have pictures in there of things I've made with it. Okay. To, it's like walking into a quilt shop and you might see a collection come out and she might have an apron hanging there or right. something else. And it'll, so that'll give you an idea yeah, of what to do with it. Yeah, you ideas of things you might want to make. And so I like to do that. Whenever I list my fabrics, I always have other pictures with it that you'll see if you, if you click on it. So that's wonderful to have ideas. I'm always stuck for ideas. I get, um, I'll see a fabric that I love and then I'm like, well, now what do I do with it? And that's one of the reasons I did love Moda when they came out with their pre-cuts because mm -hmm. I can't match fabric. Yeah. But to have that already done for me, that's fabulous. Right. I love it. Yeah. Coordinate. Okay, you guys, this was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really did. I just absolutely loved it. Christine. Oh, I enjoyed it. Thank I you really so, so it. much. This was just a real, real it pleasure. Was fun. <laughs> All right. What are we gonna tell them to do? Go, Go sew something. something.